If you guys are like me, then you follow a lot of fashion blogs. And in those fashion blogs, you can't help but notice people like Scott Disick, Bieber, and even Kanye rocking these really cool jeans. You know the ones. They're all distressed at the knee. They have a lot of rips through them. And one of the coolest parts, in my opinion, is the fact that right by the shoe, at the bottom cuff, they have a cool zipper. So guys, if you're even more like me, you thought to yourself, I think I want a pair of those. Until you find out that they are made by a company called Fear of God. If you guys know anything about Fear of God jeans, then you know those jeans go for a hefty price range of over about $1,000. Now, me, I'm broke as hell, and there's no way I'm gonna dish out $1,000, a grand, a G, just for a pair of distressed denim. So, what do I do? You gotta get creative, baby. I decided to make my own. My take on Jerry Lorenzo's Fear of God jeans. We're going to see if we can make these jeans under 50 bucks. Follow me, let's go. These are the tools that you're going to need to complete the job. You're going to need a pair of scissors, two zippers and I got these zippers from Joann's Fabric they are five inch zippers and a pair of thread clippers and a needle now the first thing that you're gonna want to do is actually try on the pants make sure that they actually fit you the way they want these fit a little bit more snug than I'm comfortable with but as I distress them they will actually get looser and they will get looser as you wear them now what you see me doing is I'm actually taking a pen and I'm just making an X right across my knee and it's really important that you do this sitting down because the placement of the hole will differ if you do it standing up. If you had a cardboard piece or a plastic you know little insert that you get from like a binder all you're gonna do is put that inside the jeans because you don't, as you're scratching the uh, fabric you don't want to scratch inside of the fabric which touches the back of the leg you just want to distress the top and all you're gonna do is take your scissors open it up be very careful if you really do have a pair of sharp scissors like I did um, all you're gonna do is basically scratch at the jeans and this will create the distressing basically going to distress or make scratches at the top part and also at the bottom part so above the X and below the X now basically what you're gonna do is scratch at the strip instead I cut the strip and I started pulling out some of the threads to expose the underlying threads didn't really like it I went back to scratching it how I originally wanted to and you'll see how that looks as you can see as I scratch out the patch it looks a little bit more natural now what I'm doing is I'm picking out some of the white threads to give it a more distressed look. Try the pants on again just to make sure that the hole is in the right spot. Next thing that you're going to want to do to create another dimension of distressing is to actually make a slit with the scissors and you're going to take a needle and actually again start picking out the white threads out of the jeans. As you start to expose more of the white threads, all you got to do is start clipping off the blue threads and it'll give you a clean distressed look see and that's all it really takes to create that look now the next step that we're gonna move into is actually <laughs> installing or applying the zipper to the bottom of the jean right so the um, I believe the fear of God jeans and almost all the all of the jeans that actually have the zipper they have it on the inside part of the ankle you just have to make sure that actually when you're cutting it you actually have everything on the inside because I one side the clip on the outside and I had to start that shit all over you basically instead of cutting straight up the seam you're going to just actually remove the threads pulling them apart one step that I did not show you guys how to do is to actually place a zipper on top of the jeans and make a little mark where the zipper ends so that way you don't cut up too high this is where the double sided tape or the pins if you choose to come in handy I wanted to create a clean fold over so I just added the double sided tape folded it over so that way it creates a clean seam
Now, it, it may seem obvious, but make sure that the zipper opening is at the bottom of the pant and not at the top. I'm an idiot and I did make that mistake once. What you're gonna wanna do is align the zipper so that way the fold over actually covers half of the zipper. That'll actually give it a clean look whenever you actually have the pants all the way zippered, it'll almost disguise that there's no zipper there. Make sure that the bottom of the zipper actually lines up flush with the bottom cuff of the jean. And now take it to your sewing machine and just start sewing the zipper up. What I'm doing here, if you guys are familiar with how to sew, is I'm actually using my presser foot, which is like that white pronged looking thing, as a guide. So I have the left leg of it pressed up against the zipper and I'm just using that as a spacer. You don't want to zip right up against the teeth of the zipper because you're not going to have that fold over lip. Now what you're going to want to do is tuck the jeans inside out and then do the other side of them. If your machine is capable of actually replacing the uh, presser foot, which it should be, I have a zipper foot that I'm showing you right now. That actually makes it easier for me to get closer, and I'm going to use this to make the top stitch. Obviously, you know, this is only one of the pant leg, but it's literally the same exact thing for the other side. So just take whatever you just did here, all the mistakes that you had to correct, is it'll make it easier for the second one. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. It is very, very simple to do, and to be honest, I'm going to start doing this to almost all my jeans. I really like the way they came out. Please hit the like button, and you guys are going to see what these jeans actually came out to look like. Thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling